That's it, all right. Let's go get the rat. Wait a minute. By catching small fry, you always scare away the big fish. Now you just take it slow and easy till we're sure. talk to you. Yeah, what about? Is your name Lucky? Yeah, Lucky Jenkins. Have a drink with me. Not with you. You've had too many now. Hold your horses. That's a good idea. He said, oh. As they pound in the dust of the prairie. I gave you credit for better sense. Go on up with Speedy. Better take your time if you keep in your prime as you must on the prairie. As long as you're craving somebody to pick on, I'll I do. Slightly better than nothing. How about a drink? Sure. What do you have? One of the sarsaparilla. Straight whiskey. What's the use of always scurrying? What's the use of always scurrying? Things are not as worrisome as they business, Cassidy. Even if I have to run it for fun. Nice going, Holt. You're the kind of a man that has to have things your way. Even if it breaks your heart. And that of everyone else. It's too bad, though, that you have to let personal feelings interfere with public pride. What's public pride got to do with it? Just this. Suppose Wells Fargo replaces Jeff's outfit with untried equipment and horses. It means losses to you, to you, to everybody in here. Bad accommodations, bad transportation. And service slower than cold molasses. Slow? Let me tell you something, Bill Cassidy. When any man can put a faster outfit on the road than mine, I'll see that he gets the Wells Fargo contract because I won't bid against him. Tall talk don't buy oats, mister. Here's something that does. All or any part of it. Jeff Chapman's barred 20 bred Mustangs against Neil Holt's horses. Even starting no holds barred over the regular route from here to Medicine Lake. Is that right, gentlemen? That's right. Place your bets, boys. Two to one against Chapman. Hey, come on, on, we'll take it. I'll hey, buy it. How much do you I think it's Wells Fargo contact goes for the winner. I'll buy the drinks out of that. Come on, Fred, set him up for the boys. Come on, boys, the drink again, boys. <laughs> Another bottle of sarsaparilla. <laughs> Come on, boys. Break up. Hey, Hoppy. What do you mean picking a fight with Neil last night? And in a saloon, too. You and your friend Cassidy. 
Poppy was only trying to save the contract for your father. As though our scrubby Mustangs had a chance against Neil's fast horses. I could make them win or die trying. You will never see the day you can tool a stage like Neil. If I had the chance, I could beat him and his horses, too. For you. For me? Did I ask you to? Are you trying to make me responsible for that crazy race over that terrible grade? One, maybe both of you will crash over the cliff. You men. Vain, reckless, fighting fools. You and Cassidy and Neil, too. I hate you. All of you. But it's for you, Shirley. Don't you see? Oh, let me go. Well, she certainly told you off, didn't she? Oh, you heard. Oh, I couldn't help it here. She's just a little upset. Yeah, just a little. But, Hoppy, what I wanted to ask you means more to me than all the other things you've ever done before. Can I tool the stagecoach in the race? Does she really mean that much to you? I'd rather die than lose her or the race. All right. You'll drive. Thanks. Don't win the race. Easy go, easy come. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about a drink, Carl? Say to you, you know I had to give three to one to get another thousand on you. Don't worry, you'll win. Well, I hope so. Neil! You shouldn't have come here, Shirley. Neil, do you still care for me? You know I love you and always will. Then give up this awful race. It's too late. One of you will be killed. Oh, I see. It's because your friend Lucky is going to drive your father's coach. You know it's not that. I'm sorry. But if I quit now, I'd be called up by everyone. Even if I lose you, I must keep my self-respect. Then you won't do what I ask? I can't. You don't really care. Pedro! Buster! Get these horses hitched! Prado! Si, sí, senor. Almost time for the race. Shirley around. Ah, uh, Jeff's having a bad day. She probably had to stay home and look after him. She'll be all right. You just keep your mind on the horses. Are you ready, boys? All right, Quince. You ready, Jenkins? Yes, sir. Get set. Don't he know how to drive? Yes, 
start of the race ain't where they pay off. Hasn't he? Sure is a fighting fool. Suppose we give him a hand. Sure, why not? He doesn't need any help from us. Get up from there! All of it! Get up! Get back there! 